grab that right there. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. Is you ready? Ready? You say you ready? Oh. Whole squad ready? Ready? Is you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Whole squad oh. ready? We came here to see Jeff. What you got? Oh. No, no, no. Not on my watch. No way. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. Star strikes at the Vikings with a 22-yard touchdown delivery to Max McGee. An NFC North Division Championship dagger. It's historical rivalry, man, and they got to come through, man. He did what? And oh, he no. oh, 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 oh. off the grass. What a the response that I see from our team, these guys aren't afraid of a challenge, and right now we have a challenge. Grab left to the end zone, touchdown! Jaden Reed, touchdown, Green Bay Packers! And he's gobbled up by Quay Walker, and that's a loss of five! Again, Rashawn Gary! To the end zone, for the touchdown! Ball's out, fumbles the football, and the Packers have it. Knocked away by Jair Alexander. Intercepted, and here comes Rudy Ford. Down the splits they come. No one will catch him. It is a touchdown. Looks downfield, waits, flings it over the middle. They intercepted. That's the goal every week to get turnovers. You know what I'm saying? When it the offenses, we got to take the ball. We like just capitalizing on opportunities that we get. You know, the ball's in the air. We have to just have a mindset that it's our ball. Picking the ball off, punch hammer, and rake ops. You know, hopefully when we get one, you know, they, they just come in bunches. The door is open against the Minnesota team that leads the NFC in giveaways. But quarterback Kirk Cousins can make teams pay, leading the NFC in touchdown passes. Kirk is a guy that he can make any throw. He's proven it. He's done a great job. I think he's playing as good as anybody right now. I mean, Kirk Cousins is as, as good as there is in the league when, when you don't affect him. It's important to, to try to apply pressure to him, make him move around in the pocket. And then you gotta have sticky coverage on the, on the back end. It all works hand in hand. If the quarterback can sit back there and not be affected, I mean, he'll pick you apart. In this 62-year-old border battle, the Packers have the edge. And come Sunday, Green Bay will be looking for its third straight home win over the Vikings in front of a packed house. It'll be a big boost, um, you know, the crowd um, being loud for us, and uh, especially on third down, helping with communication issues. So um, everyone's excited to be back in the Our fans are, are super supportive and we need them to show up and, and turn out and be loud for us and, and make a difference in the game. Definitely something that we're looking forward to this week is just getting back at home, getting back in Lambeau, um, you know, having our crowd you know, behind us. But, you know, we got to find a way to go out there and no matter where we're at, we're at home, we're away, just go out there and win. Welcome to Best of the Locker Room. Daniil Hunter leads the league with nine sacks. Elton Jenkins was asked, what's the key to stopping him? Zach Tom, you know, uh, yeah, Zach. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he would be 100% serious, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, sure, I'll take it, whatever. The Packer offense and kickoff returns may seem like an unlikely comparison, but when Keyshawn Nixon compares the two, it makes sense. The offense is young. I mean, I know some people are tired of hearing that, but. It's just growing pain, that's just how I go. Um, just like kick return, I can't, we won't got the exact same unit as we had last year, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going, everybody wants the same results right away. It's not how it works. In the field, you get a whole off season, people learning, people studying you, especially me. I went all pro last year, so everything is off of me. You know what I'm saying? So can't look at it like that. Everything's gonna be unscouted looks. You gotta play football and play the scheme. Play tough, play hard, and just be yourself. This is kind of crazy. The Packer offense averages 4.3 points per game in the first half, fewest in the league. That same offense averages 17.3 points per game in the second half, most in the league. Here's Jordan Lowe. That's the frustrating part for everybody on our offense is, um, you know, here and there will be somebody, somebody else, and we just gotta, that's where we gotta get back to finding that consistency 
um, having that focus and, and just going out there and executing. Everybody, I mean, it takes everybody. Everybody's got to do their 111th and do their job and, uh, you know, do it at a, a high level. So we don't have these, you know, little mistakes that lead to bigger mistakes that lead us not have any points that, you know, it just kind of snowballs. And once we find that consistency of execution, um, we'll be good, but we, we haven't had it so far. How are you feeling taking on the Vikings? Oh, feeling good, you know. Uh, glad to be back home. I uh, feel like it's been a while since we've been back home. And uh, anytime you have a rival uh, that you're playing a rival, it, it, you just, uh, the juices are flowing that much more. Aaron, this, I'm sorry, but this offense is completely different when you're not only healthy, but when you're having a significant role. How much closer do you feel like you are to being able to be yourself? as opposed to this 20 snap guy that doesn't get into a rhythm and isn't able to be himself? Well, I feel like I'm close uh, to getting back to being myself. Uh, that's the exciting part, you know. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, it's the best I've, best I've felt. And I feel like if I don't get to 100 Sunday, I'll probably be there next next Sunday. So um, just taking it day by day, continuing to work at it. But uh, it is some, some like light, some, you know, smiles on my face because I am feel like I'm Getting there, I'm getting over that. 100 yards, 100 percent of snaps. Like, Shoot, I'm trying. I'm trying to go for 100 yards. <laughs> uh, no, 100 percent though. Uh, but I, I feel like I'm getting there. So, uh, just like I said, continue to work every day, and uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll get there soon. Vernon was talking about the first half slow starts. What's the urgency like with this offense right now? Uh, just know we got to come out fast. Uh, the same way we play in the been playing in second second halves or. With our backs against the wall, uh, we got to come out with with that mindset, attack, um, and the person from, uh, who lined up across from you attack them. Um, come out with urgency, you know, when you break the huddle, um, push the tempo to the ball, and and put the stress on them. I think injury bug has definitely bit this team. I saw you talking to Eric Stokes during the game in Denver. What's been your message to other guys who are kind of struggling with injuries right now? Uh, just stay in it mentally. It can. I know how hard it can be, uh, how frustrating it can be. You know. Um, feels like you when you're out you have no impact and you know you're used to making an impact um, but there's different ways to make an impact and just try to echo that to them and just stay on top of it so when they come back is they're ready to go. Is that something you have to remind yourself as well that you can still make an impact when you're even not out there? Oh uh, yes ma'am you know every day when you come in like if if it's not the ideal situation that you want like you know you may be injured um, you can be down when you walk in and uh, but at the door, you got to check yourself because it's not about you. It's about these guys in this locker room and how you can get them ready to play and prepare for the game. Aaron, I realize like football is a, it takes all 11 kind of game, but could it turn this offense around if like one guy just kind of gets hot? I mean, like Christian had that stretch last year when you guys were playing really well. Maybe you, you know. I think it. I definitely think it can. Uh, I know. I know if. It gives everybody else confidence. It gives everybody else that swagger when they see one person, they see their boy balling out. They're like, oh, I can go do that. Uh, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen my boy doing it, and, and I've done it with them before. So, um, I just, I just think that gives people that sense of confidence and energy. Energy is contagious. So, Jaden Reed was telling me that the skill position players on the offense kind of met earlier this week to go through the film. Was that good for you guys? Um, and did you guys feel like you kind of? found a few answers that you may have been looking for? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I feel like that was very beneficial, you know, just hearing everybody talk, uh, seeing if they understand it or what, what, uh, getting that message across what we're trying to accomplish on that play. Um, and you might get that play against different looks you never know when you come out. So hitting it against different looks and uh, just, you know, nailing the details and um, being knowing what read you're like what what number you are in the concept if you're the first read if you're second read if you're third read um if you have a little more time when you're out just kind of nailing the details so everybody can go out there and play fast uh i mean it's still there uh, we're just still trying to find our identity i feel like i feel like we're coming close to doing that but uh it's all about it. just gonna show up Pretty much just gonna show who all built for it. Uh, we already know this time was gonna come, time of adversity. We've been losing. Uh, I know it's something that we don't tread lightly, but uh, it's all about just coming out and just trying to find a, another dub because it's been a while. So we just trying to get a win Sunday. That's the main focus. What do you think that identity is? Like, what is it becoming? We're still trying to find it at this point. I think we're just trying to, uh, still just trying to come together. That's the only thing we can do. But 
don't really want to go in too too much of that, but that's it. Any extra motivation given the Vikings? It's, I mean, it's the North. I mean, sometimes you just got to be self-motivated. If you're not self-motivated, then uh, I don't quite know what to say after that. So, yeah. Don't give away your game plan, but how much does the responsibility of TJ Hawkinson fall to guys like you and Wilson or, just, or Dre if he plays? I mean, just the type of player that he is, uh, he lead a he lead a team in reception, so he's gonna be a go to guy. That's a guy that we know. That, uh, in order for us to win, we have to pretty much decrease uh, his value or whatever the case may be. Or he can try to slow it down, and uh, that's it. But he's he's a great player, so we're just gonna have to rally around him and see what we can do. One of the things that kind of sets you apart as a middle linebacker is your speed. Is this one of those games and one of those players where you can kind of use that to your advantage? Uh, yeah, I want to use it every game, but especially with him. So every time you get the ball, I just want to. <laughs> I just want to be there, so yeah. That's it. I know Devontae's coming back. Does it like to see him back there? And how does he like his energy? It does a whole lot just having him, his his experience, and the things that he's done. Like for me, I always say, whenever I'm alongside him, when he's alongside me, yeah, it pretty much boosts my confidence. So uh, just having him back is pretty good. What have you seen from Kirk Cousins this year? Kirk is the vet that he is. Uh, pretty much doing the same things he's been doing. He's a 12 year vet for sure. And I think pretty much show as he showed that on Monday night versus 49ers. So Kirk, Kirk is Kirk, I'll say. Is it nice to be back at home though after a month of a wacky schedule and just kind of get back in the rhythm? I'd just be ready to play. I don't care if we playing here, or anywhere else. At the end of the day, it's football. Just line up and just play football. That's all it is. But to get back in our home crowd, uh, I think it'll kind of be a bonus for us, I'll say. There was a you had a boot sitting in your locker yesterday. Did you wear? When was the last time you actually wore the boot? Uh, yesterday morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, feeling better than yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna keep on taking it day by day. Uh, uh, happy with how it's progressed. Um, and we're going to kind of see how it feels later today and tomorrow and on Sunday. Injuries suck. Uh, worst, probably the worst part of football. Um, we, we love football because we get to play football, so injuries suck. Um, and we're going to keep on trying to progress through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I thought it was going to be uh, a lot longer from how it felt, but it's uh, it's been progressing, been working really hard, um, and uh, it's progressed faster than I than I thought. Um, and, but we're still going to take it day by day, see how it feels later today. Within your position group, what are the added challenges going up against a, a blitz-heavy defense like the Vikings? Uh, yeah, uh, big blitz-heavy. Um, a lot of stuff they do, uh, really dynamic players, dynamic defense. Um, so we're gonna, we have uh, some answers, and uh, but it's definitely a lot of defensive recognition. We're gonna have to be uh, understanding of what they're doing and uh, be able to play uh, play at what they give us. Another NFC North rivalry game. How are you feeling going up against Vikings? Uh, they're a good team. Um, we're excited for the challenge. Uh, it's back in Lambeau. We're excited to be back in Lambeau. It's been a while, um, uh, so we're excited. During this kind of difficult period, how much will the fans at Lambeau really help the team? Uh, being at home is always always great, and we got you know the best fans in the NFL, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, it'll be exciting to feed off their energy, and hopefully they uh, they feed off of ours as well. Where do you think your blocking is? Uh, you know, in your young career, playing you know handful of games in your rookie season. Yeah, better than it was uh, in fall camp. Still got a ways to go, but it's better than it was. When colleges actually physically came to see him, they were like, okay, well, he's too small. And I'm like, guys, you're missing out on this. If I don't get drafted, I got to start life. Like, I got to go find a real job. I can't go back to school. Aaron Jones into the end zone. It's this or nothing. Aaron Jones has become the all-time single-season rushing leader in UTEP history. I mean, this kid was born to run. He makes the turn out to the number 40. He's going to go. No one will catch him. At five, six years old, he's running 
four miles with ease. As I'm looking, I'm seeing the people that I went to high school with, people I went to middle school with. Aaron Jones, the touchdown maker. The beauty of Aaron Jones is one explosive run. It's all it takes. Doesn't get any better than that. I want this for every time. His fourth touchdown of the night. Do was make the whole crowd bounce, y'all. Bounce, y'all. Bounce, y'all. Bounce, y'all. Bounce, y'all. The Packers and Saints have a long history of playing close games, and that did not change when the teams met on September 30th, 2012. In a back and forth game, the Packers found themselves down 27 21 in the fourth quarter. With seven minutes left on the clock, Aaron Rodgers led the team down the field and tied the game on an 11 yard touchdown to Jordy Nelson. Mason Crosby would give the Packers the lead with the extra point, and the Packers won 28-27. Memorable Moments, brought to you by the Oneida Casino. Brain, what you got? I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top. Are you ready?